Welcome to episode 134, Software, the Easiest Sector to Become Self-Made Billionaires, Part 1, Richest, Youngest, and Fastest. This is an outline of episode 134. There are three ways to study self-made billionaires. First, by countries. Second, by sectors. Third, by age, gender, race, education, immigration, and secret formula. Software is a sector. Here I combine it with age. I discovered the importance of software by accident while researching and writing two ebooks for Amazon Kindle. Ebook number one, Zero to Billions, 37 Software Self-Made Billionaires, number one industry in the world. Ebook number two, Zero to Billions, Anyone Can, 31 Under 40 Self-Made Billionaires, How the Young Change the World. In case you love tons of data and historical details, Here's how to get three ebooks from Paul Chan. First, step number one, write to drpaulchan at gmail.com. Step two, please state the title you like. Step three, I will email you the free ebook in PDF format. This is a list of the top 10 self-made billionaires in the world. Seven of them made it with software. All of them Americans. From number 6 to number 10, you see Larry Allison, Michael Bloomberg, Larry Page, and Sergey Brin. And number 1, let us meet Bill Gates, the richest man in the world for 19 of the past 23 years. Where did it all begin? Rome was founded in 753 AD by a pair of wolf babies, Romulus and Remus. Microsoft was founded by teenager Bill Gates age 19, and his high school buddy Paul Allen. Sorry, no wolf babies here, just geeks. Soon, Bill Gates and Paul Allen hire a bundle of hippies, nerds, and geeks. Microsoft is easily the best company for employees. Microsoft created four self-made billionaires, 12,000 millionaires out of its employees. Why? because Microsoft did not use venture capitalists. IBM was the evil computer empire. Number two, let us meet Jeff Bezos. First, in 2017, he's the most feared entrepreneur in the world. As dozens of brick and mortar retailers go out of business. Second, he's the founder of Amazon. Third, he's the second richest man in the world and only inches away from Bill Gates. Fourth, he's one of the greatest entrepreneur and inventor of all time. And did I kind of anticipate what would happen over the last 22 years at Amazon? And the answer is God, no. So, you know, Amazon started as a very small company. Um, it was me and a few other people. I was driving all the packages to the post office myself in my 1987 Chevy Blazer. Number three, meet Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg was a Harvard freshman with a gift for computer programming. Less than a decade later, he is the baby-faced multi-billionaire power broker who rubs shoulders with the president. My name is Barack Obama and I'm the guy who got Mark to wear a jacket and tie. He transformed a dorm room project into the internet's biggest global village. He has waged an all-out war on his biggest competitors. In 2004, at the age of 19, he created Facebook. Number four, meet Larry Allison, the flamboyant playboy and founder of Oracle. He's famous for beautiful women, fastest yachts, and owing islands in Hawaii. This is another Bill Gates quote. Said, Bill said, gee, you know, it's getting harder and harder to find things on my PC. Maybe everything should be in a database. Well, Bill and I used to be friends a long time ago. Uh, that's before he, he turned mean and, uh, and ran Netscape out of business. So I think what Bill did to Netscape was appalling. Uh, so I don't talk to Bill anymore. It was widely reported, for example, that while Oracle's revenues were stumbling in 1997, Ellison took off on a three-month sailing vacation. It's mythology. I didn't take off three months. I've read this story many, many times, uh, but I was, I've never been gone for more than a month in Oracle in my, in my life. In fact, this three-time divorced, eligible billionaire... I've been in fairly serious relationships uh, most of my life. Um, it's true. It's true. 
Number five, read Michael Bloomberg. He founded Bloomberg LP and was mayor of New York City for three terms. Born in Boston on February 14, 1942, and raised in a middle-class home in Medford, Massachusetts, Michael Bloomberg attended Johns Hopkins University, where he paid his tuition by taking out loans and working as a parking lot attendant. After college, he attended Harvard Business School and in 1966 was hired by a Wall Street firm, Salomon Brothers, for an entry-level job. Bloomberg quickly rose through the ranks at Salomon, overseeing equity trading and sales before heading up the firm's information systems. When Salomon was acquired in 1981, he was let go from the firm. With a vision of an information technology company that would bring transparency and efficiency to the buying and selling of financial securities, he launched a small startup in a one-room office. Today, Bloomberg is a global company that has more than 15,000 employees and offices in 73 countries around the world. Number six and number seven, meet Larry Page and Sergey Brin, founder of Google. To, we want to make the world a better place. The search engine Google was born in that hotbed of technological innovation, the computer science department at Stanford University. Larry Page and Sergey Brin met as grad students in 1995. They had much in common. Their fathers were both college profs and their mothers were scientists. Both were born in 1973. Both grew up with and loved anything to do with computers. Together, Bryn and Page invented something called the backlinks. Page noticed that behind every web page, there were hundreds or even thousands of other pages that linked to We were working at, um, in our PhDs, actually. Uh, we actually started a company. We found the idea is that we take the, all the world's information and make it accessible and useful to everyone. And that's our mission. Meet the youngest self-made billionaires in the world. They are in their 20s. There are four of them. They all made their fortunes in software. Co-winners, Evan Spiegel and Bobby Murphy. All right, social media company Snap making waves on Wall Street with its big stock market debut. The company's stock is trading higher after opening at $24 per share, making co-founders Evan Spiegel and Bobby Murphy instant billionaires. This is Patrick Collison, John Collison. Co-founders of Stripe, they are brothers. Is actually also really qualified for it. I think it's actually really good because when you know somebody for sort of you know, a decade or decades, um, you have sort of this advantage of you've gotten through sort of all the, the conflict resolution um, in that. Sure, so uh, Stripe is a software platform for building internet businesses. Uh, and you know, we, we started off with payments, but even what we're doing for, for businesses now, what have I learned today? First, software is the easiest sector to make a fortune. Second, out of the 10 richest self-made billionaires in the world, seven of them made it in software. Third, of the four youngest self-made billionaires in the world, all of them made it in software. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your comments and questions below. My next video will be 10 Reasons Why Software is the Easiest Sector to Become Billionaires Wishing everyone peace and prosperity